Hey guys, welcome back to Mooper Mondays. Today's Monday, so we have some Mooper to show you. Finally, I'm gonna uh, introduce you the car that really got me into Mopar, to the Mopar community. It's my Dodge Charger 2011 3.6 V6. So without further ado, let me introduce you to my buddy. It's right here. It's, uh, like I said, it's a 2012 Dodge Charger SE. I would like to think it as special edition <laughs> so you can see the front very nice uh, it has the um, the chrome grill I probably later on down the road probably gonna black it out even blast it there or use some other type of methods for that uh, 17 inch wheels um, uh, recently I have uh, upgraded the the brakes um, usually they, they say that if you look in the communities and in the forums that um, they're not that good, the, the factory ones are not that good, so I had to change them. And I put some, um, let me see, Power Stop Z23 Evolution uh, brake pads and also the rotors. Um, I got a sweet deal on the internet. I will, uh, for all the updates and uh, all the mods that, I, that I've done, I'm going to uh, put all the links so you can see where that I uh, where I got them and where you can find them online. So you can see they're um, they're a slotted and drill cross drill rotors. Um, has some fancy charger uh, decals on it. It has the uh, this SRT style spoiler. Um, I try to make it uh, a little different than you know the rest of the. Uh, the chargers on the road um, so I I thought hey why not an SRT spoiler so uh, in my opinion I think it looks for uh, it looks you know very very good it looks a little more aggressive the the spoiler on the regular RTs or the the SXTs that you see on the road they're kind of more like an like a rounder type of shape like it's, it, they're more like like a bow this one looks a lot more like a spoiler to me if you ask me um, I have this uh, kind of um, uh, blackout uh, sticker they call that has the charger whenever you press the brake you see the word charger just the word charger lit, uh, getting lit on the background which is you know pretty cool um, let me see what else I can show you guys um, I have this uh, this is one of the coolest things that I could find on um, <clears throat> on the internet. It's actually a a batch, but it says charger on uh, as the you know the classic script, which uh, I really really love. Um, I found it also on um, on the internet. I'll put the, the links. Uh, this uh, custom Dodge shade for the windshield. Uh, definitely, if you live in a place like uh, like Florida, like uh, where I live, which is very hot, and uh, you know the sun is very very strong, so you you definitely it's a must. So one thing that is really really a cool thing are these uh, um, the pillar post covers that I have here. This this, uh, this ones are in piano black. Um, this is from courtesy of Car Carbon Covers. These guys are just amazing to deal with. I mean, they really, really took care of me. Their customer service is amazing. It's awesome. Uh, what, um, whatever questions or concerns you might have, they're answered right away. The shipping is super fast. The product is great quality. So if you're looking for um, a really nice uh, way to protect those uh, the post because uh, these things uh, you, you see that the regular ones they tend to fade with the time with the heat they uh, they start the, the paint starts to peel off and everything so that's a great way to protect themselves and just look at it I mean it looks looks actually very sleek very nice I mean some people like it in chrome some other people like it in different colors I'd rather to go this way with the piano black and they're awesome so I, I highly highly recommend this um, uh, this product from carbon covers um, I'll put the links on the video description 
uh, just let me show you a little bit on the uh, interior um, this is an 8-speed automatic which is a blessing I mean I've heard a lot of uh, mixed opinions about uh, being with the 5-speed but the 8-speed at least to me has been very responsive very quick it's you know it's get up and go the, the it's not sluggish as the most of the chargers uh, v6 are known for so definitely the eight speed the eight speed automatic it's it's a great addition to this car um, I don't have the 8.4 you connect I, I only have the um, I think it's five inch if I'm not mistaken um, but still, you know, I, I don't tend to mess up with that. I mean, I have my phone for GPS and um, I have my iPod connected for music. Uh, so, I mean, uh, it's, to me, it's not a must have. I mean, it, it varies from, you know, people to people. So I really don't don't care much about that. Um, I was able to put this uh, charger chrome uh, door cells that, that makes it look even more stock. Um, definitely, definitely huge. Uh, um, uh, really, really recommend them. Um, the original OEM uh, charger rubber mats because here in Florida it rains a lot, also, so you don't want the your typical um, um, mats because they're gonna get wet and gonna get ugly. So you don't want, definitely don't want that in your car. And also they can get stinky. You don't you don't want that in your car. Um, I put some um, Mopar. Uh, original uh, metal pedals on it. It has some kind of like a rubber um, clets on them, so they can help to grasp better. I uh, put also in the um, on the emergency brake, and I I I think they look actually very very nice because you see you know the higher trims, the RTs, the SRTs, even the Hellcat, and they have those uh, those pedals. Like oh man. It kind of makes you feel like oh I'm I'm, on the, I'm, I'm playing the big leagues now, <laughs> but you know you know how it is. Um, you're trying your best to to customize your car, as you know to make it look as neat and as cool as you can. Uh, they, they have also the small the smaller cells here, the the chrome small uh, cells. Uh, let me see what else. Okay, so we have this. One Nation Order God, baby. Okay, let me see. These are the sales. Oh, let me let me show you one of the um, one of the important mods that I did uh, recently for the engine. Actually, this is for performance. Uh, so I did this a couple of weeks ago. Uh, let me just open the trunk. Okay, sorry for the. Uh, how dirty this thing is, I haven't cleaned it up yet. So I installed a K&N cooled air intake. This is, uh, specifically speaking, this is the Air Charger 63. Um, I will put a video specifically talking about my impressions about this, um, this cooled air intake. Um, it, the installation wasn't that complicated, I have to say. It took me probably um, a good, hour hour and a half just by myself and also actually I, I, I uh, made a good use uh, from a video on YouTube that I'm gonna post uh, the link for that too in the case you want to uh, do the same thing it's definitely it was definitely a lifesaver because of, uh, like they stated also and now I can tell you that too the instructions that come in with uh, the cold air intake are not the best they're definitely not the best I mean they could have been better a little more clearer but but those guys were really explaining everything it's step by step it's a little long video but it's, it's worth the shot to watch it uh, here I have a, K, a K N also a filter for the air box I'm sorry for the air cabin for the inside uh, let me see what else well and also I, I probably won't be able to see it but I also installed a Vortec um, throttle body spacer so these are pretty much my uh, mo most of the updates that I've done to this car so, and there's a lot more to come so just stay tuned guys so here it is 
the one and only Dodge Charger SC 3.6. Thank you guys.